Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 124th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Uh, we're going to name this one My Mapped. And if you hadn't guessed, we're going to be going over the Qt concurrent mapped function. So we're going to make a Qt dialog project here. And pretty much the same as before. I'm kind of trying to follow kind of the same flow here, so it's pretty easy to follow along. Once you've seen one, you kind of know what to expect with the others. We're just going to make uh, two list boxes here. Make that. All right, and then we are going to add in our static function here. Now, the difference between mapped and mapped is very subtle but very powerful. So. Um, map just modifies oh I can't even spell string Q string all right pay attention anyways map simply um, changes an existing collection or I should say an existing sequence whereas mapped plural what we're covering today makes a new one so Q string item mm -hmm. and then we're just going to refactor that and if you've been following along, you know exactly what to expect. We're going to have some function that's going to be called in a different thread, and we're going to have the button which actually does the actual work. So let's make this happen here. We're just going to say item dot append, and we'll say mm, for giggles, bottles of beer on the wall. You ever hear that song, 99 bottles of beer on the wall? Well, basically that's what we're doing here. All right, so we're going to go UI list widget and we're gonna say clear and UI list widget 2 we're gonna just clear that out so we clear out any previous garbage Q string items before Oop, should be Q string Q string list my bad sorry it is uh, Christmas Eve here and I want to crank out a couple of these videos before I go wrap presents because I really don't like wrapping presents um, I like buying the presents, I just don't like wrapping them. Oopsie. We're just going to keep this simple, if I can type. I had actually a pretty long day at work, and that's part of the reason why I'm scatterbrained. Um, I, while I don't hate my job, I definitely don't like my job, if you know what I mean. Alright, so we're going to just update the user interface in list widget. We're going to call the add items and we're just going to add that string list in there. Now we're going to actually create a new string list. Call it, you guessed it, items after. Did we add cute concurrent in there? No we didn't. We'll run into problems if we don't do that. And then let's add our include here. There we go. That'll make life a little bit easier when we go to compile this thing. And we're going to do blocking mapped with the plural. Now remember this slight difference is actually quite profound. Mapped will actually generate a new sequence. So we need the input sequence, which is items before. And we need the function pointer to what we're pointing this to, which in our case is make changes. And then just to prove that we actually did do something, we're going to update the UI. With the items after. There we go. Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand tutorial. We're just going to clear out the list widgets. We're going to make a string list, and then we're going to call the Qt concurrent blocking mapped with our items before our string list, and we're going to point it to the make changes function, which is just going to take each item as it maps, and it's going to append bottles of beer on the wall to it, and then we're going to display that in the second list we get widget. There we go. Whew, what a mouthful. I feel like I'm kind of rushing through this. 
program ended unexpectedly. Hmm, what have I done wrong here? Oh, derp, we totally forgot to return from our map here. That would probably be helpful. That's actually the whole point of mapping, is to actually modify the function. All right, let's give it a good rebuild. That's what's happening when you rush. Don't ever rush. All right, so there we go. Now our little function actually works. So this is the before, and this is after it's been mapped. The difference, once again, is the mapped plural will create a new list instead of modify your existing list. That's all for this, albeit simple, tutorial. Um, please visit my website voidrealms.com for the source code for this and other tutorials. Um, it is Christmas time, so if you're feeling generous, feel free to donate, but it's definitely not necessary. <laughs>